again. So I know that like starting a Poshmark store or trying to grow your Poshmark store can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. I have gotten to a place where I feel like I have a solid number of followers. Uh, I'm just about to hit 7K, so I feel like that's kind of pretty good. I, I don't know, I can't imagine 7,000 people like standing in front of me trying to buy something from me, but I guess online, yeah, that's like kind of what it is. So, okay, let me pull up my little notes real quick. So it obviously depends on what route you're going because if you want to do it as a hobby, that's totally fine. You can uh, just sell your unwanted items or you can go kind of more full force and kind of try to be like making more income as a side hustle or as like a full-time posher. I know that that's a thing where people will do that. I am more of a person who just does it on the side. So I feel like having 7K, you know, not doing it full-time is still pretty good. Um, anyway, so this dictates your demographic. Are you shopping or selling, right? Because I guess if, it, if you're trying to do it full-time, you can start buying things to sell versus if you're just doing it, um, just trying to get rid of your old clothes. So if you're doing it that way, just trying to get rid of your old clothes, then obviously you're just gonna sell to people who are around your same size. So you're gonna have a better option with anything but shoes basically, because shoes, it's like, it has to be pretty much that specific size. If you're selling like a t-shirt, people are more likely to fit your size. If it's a hat or necklaces where it's like a one size type of piece, then those have a greater chance of being sold. Of course, I mean, just, just list your clothes, you know, whatever you gotta do. But I would definitely recommend selling or trying to sell anything that's like a backpack or like a uh, adjustable bracelet like this or a necklace or a headband anything like that is just more likely to sell i even have like a cat backpack listed right now because it turns out my cat is too fat and i did not anticipate that before ordering it so he's an enormous cat but this is like a whole nother thing um anyway <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, it depends on that route. And then if, of course, if you're gonna go wholesaling, you can actually purchase wholesale items from Poshmark once you reach a certain criteria. Um, this is really more of a focused video towards people who are just doing it on the side or not intending to like quit their jobs and start doing Poshmark full time. Although you could just take these tips and kind of like scale it up and then do that if you wanted. Another thing with the one size thing is purses. I think purses are probably like the best thing to sell. I love listing wallets and purses and things that hold their value. Um, currently, I do have a lot of like coach stuff listed and that's because I, I really just like coach. <laughs> so I have a bunch of coach and then um, some things I just decide to sell. So they're all like new with tags usually. Um, make sure you keep your tags like if you don't use something and you think you might sell it on Poshmark later try to keep it obviously as pristine as possible but also if you can keep it with the tags I feel like that increases the value some people they bring their stuff home after shopping immediately rip off all the tags and never end up using it and then you can't list it as new with tags because you took them off even though you never use the product so that's just something to think about but I definitely love the idea of just listing wallets, purses, earrings, anything that's one size. And then obviously the second thing is like have good photos because it makes a huge difference. Like if you see, honestly, there's a lot of people who list stuff and it's just not presented very well in a, in a way where you just don't find the item interesting, which is fine because people are just doing it casually. But if you want to like stand out and grow your following a little bit, I think it's helpful to kind of like put a little bit more effort into your photos and it doesn't even have to be a lot of effort all i'm saying is like have a clean background and just make it look like nice like how can i say this so i'll like put a t-shirt on myself for example and then just stand by that door take a photo so it's like a white background there's no distractions really and then you can see what it looks like on an actual person because I think sometimes it's a little hard to imagine what it would look like. And then I do have some items that I just um, will list it, like putting it on a hanger, but on a, on a white wall background. 
and that also works or what I would love to do actually that like my photos like the best on is if it's like shoes or something then I will literally just put it on this white um, nightstand that I have and then just like take a photo uh, like a flat lay type of photo top down photo <laughs> I don't know if people still even use that term flat lay that was like a while ago um yeah so something like that and then that's totally fine I'll like um upload it to snapseed have it edited it has to still have the same colors though if you if you're trying to sell something that's like a really specific shade of red and then you edit it and it looks like a completely different red like people are going to notice and they're going to leave you bad reviews and it's just not a good time so i i just think you can edit your photos to make it look nice to up the brightness or whatever but the item still has to look how it actually looks and you don't have to edit it all that much really like people know it's like a secondhand site um this is just what i do because i i tend to have perfectionist tendencies so let's say you're just starting you just opened your account what i would do if i were you is let's say you're going to sell a purse go up to a white wall white door it doesn't even have to be white i just like it because then it, i feel like you can just focus on the item and it doesn't really like draw any attention to the wall color so just go up to like a white wall white door whatever take a photo and then honestly i think there's even there's editing in poshmark's app i think so you could edit it through that as well that's my dog that's stanley okay <laughs> so just like make it look presentable but realistic and then send it on its merry way uh, a lot of people use emojis in their titles. I I like that for some things, but I don't put on every item because I feel like it can be distracting on your page and I personally just don't like the way that it looks. Also inside of the listings, I always let people know that I'm a top rated seller because that's like a big um, award thing that Poshmark will give you. And then what do I put? I always put top rated seller. I'll like put the item description. And then I put like a little star or a little emoji towards the bottom part that's just about me. That's like top rated seller, ships out next business day. But that's just me because as soon as I get an order, I go to the post office and send it on its way. So that's, that's how I am. That's how I got um, such a fast turnaround time. I think my turnaround time is like 0.3 days. So that's, it, it's different for every person. But the top rated seller thing comes from your your ratings that people leave you when they purchase from you and then I also always get like tissue paper it's like I really like having like a nicely wrapped item with tissue paper and then you um, just tape it up and then I always personally like to do a handwritten note which this might sound so extra for like a secondhand website app type of thing but this is how i got to have more followers and like a higher rating so you obviously don't have to follow it this is just what worked for me also joining the parties is actually an enormous thing i personally have the notifications for the poshmark parties on on my phone that way whenever it's i think it's like 9 a.m 12 4 or 7 like there's like certain times where they do them then you can just go ahead and and do them and then if your items if you have items that fit that description then you can share your stuff one of the biggest things that helped me is just like listening to a podcast or something and just sharing and sharing and it can be my stuff it can be other people's stuff you just have to be active in the community you don't have to be active 24 7 or anything but personally i have downtime sometimes where i'm just like tired after work and then there's a poshmark party so i'll put a podcast on i really like h3 or like let's see the bailey Searingan one i've been really liking dark history i don't know that's anyway this is irrelevant <laughs> but i will listen to a podcast and then i just go and share my stuff or share other people's stuff because it's not just about sharing your items to sell them it's also about interacting with the other people's stuff because then you can cultivate more of a community in your page and then show them stuff that maybe you don't have listed but that someone else has that's really cool like i personally love designer bags <laughs> so i 
I have coach bags for sale, but I don't have like Louis Vuitton bags or Balenciaga or anything like that. So I will go onto those pages of people who do sell those and then just share. Or like, I've been obsessed with the Chloe Tess bag. <sighs> anyway, so <laughs> I will just find these and share it to my page because I love these purses. And then maybe my followers also really like these purses. I don't know. So I just like to share clothing things or fashion things that I think are cool and then other people seem to also like it and then they'll follow my page. So that's an enormous thing of joining the parties and then like just be honest. I feel like that's <laughs> the biggest thing that I would want to tell you. Like don't tell people that you're selling something in a pristine new with tags condition if it's obviously not because then it's just rude and you're gonna ruin your own rating so just just literally be honest like okay maybe you don't make an extra five bucks but you'll be able to sell to that person again or like have a good reputation i don't know i feel like there's a lot of uh like using stock images and things like that that people do which is fine if the item is new but i feel like you shouldn't use a stock image if it's something that you've used for five years or at least let people know in the description, you know, like has been used, like clean. Oh my gosh, clean your stuff, please, before you sell it. Like, I, I think it's just like courtesy. I personally always have everything washed and like hanging in a closet. And then like when it's ready to go because it's been sold, then I'll like pack it up and then send it on its way. That way it, it there's not like, turnaround time from that but everything's always pristine and ready to go even if it is like a used item that's like a pair of jeans that I just don't care for anymore to have in my personal collection but maybe someone else is into it or like a shirt that I just am like I'm just gonna list it you know but I think making sure that the quality is there obviously please don't sell them something if it's like really torn or tattered or things like that I, I feel like it's um kind of common sense at that point but just like just be honest <laughs> and then one thing that actually helps me a lot is like would I actually pay for this at this price plus shipping because most items they have I think it's like a like $6.95 shipping fee something like that so I'm in my head I think like okay if I was on Poshmark would I do this and would I pay this much for shipping so like this much for the total combo. And then I also put um, discounts on my store. I put bundle discounts. So it's like, if you buy so many items, I'll give you this much percent off or I'll give you free shipping on certain items. Like my luxury stuff that I sell, there's um, free shipping on that. I think I have like a French connection jacket for sale. It's like this like faux fur jacket that's so fancy. So I have that for sale right now. And that one has free shipping. My coach stuff has free shipping stuff like that there's certain things that i'll put free shipping on um but not everything and then just keep into consideration like would i buy this for this much i feel like that helps because obviously there's some things that i don't use anymore or that i just would like to clear out my closet and like i don't want to have this in my collection anymore but i'm not gonna like put things on poshmark that i don't think are good i'll donate those pieces or I'll try to sell them in another way, like Buffalo Exchange or something like that. But I just, I don't know. I feel like I hold my Poshmark stuff to a little bit of a higher standard. Oh yeah, and then, okay. So with t-shirts and stuff, for example, if it's not in a good quality condition, did you know that you can like donate that to your local animal shelter? Because I think that's awesome. They'll like use old t-shirts and they'll do whatever with it. Like they'll turn it into toys or they'll use it as like little blankets for the dogs or like bedding. And I think that's wonderful. So I just thought I would let you know in case you were like, should I donate this? What should I do? And you're like, not sure where to donate it to. So ask your animal shelter if they'll take it. And then the very last thing that is honestly like such a game changer, life changing. I It's my favorite feature on here. It's called the vacation feature. I have this huge paranoia that it's like, I'm not gonna be home something's gonna sell and then I have to either direct my mom and she'll be like I don't know what I'm doing and I just 
that would be like a bad idea but I also don't want to lose the sale and I don't want people to be like oh no she's like not responding to me that type of thing so if I can't for any reason send out an item I'll turn on the vacation feature it literally just kind of puts a temporary hold on your store and that way you can keep your top tier turnaround time because I'm trying to have like a good reputation on here <laughs> so I think that's a huge thing because for example I went to London a couple weeks ago so I turned on the vacation feature because what if something sold and then my rating goes down so then you just turn on your vacation feature and then you can say like when to put it when to when it'll turn off and then it'll just turn off on that certain time and then there you go you get to preserve all your high ratings in my experience it's something that I actually really like I think it's really cool uh, it's like having a store that's all yours but you don't have to worry about a lot of this stuff like the marketing and things like that so I think it's a much easier experience especially if you're doing it as like a side thing and not your main gig I really like it. I know that a lot of people have Depop now. I've just always been a tried and true Poshmark person. Also, I do have a code for Poshmark. That way, I think you get a credit if you sign up with it. I'll put it wherever <laughs> on the screen. That way you guys can use it and it's like a nice little sign up bonus for you. So yeah, if you end up signing up for Poshmark, use my code and come follow me and stuff. So I think that's pretty much the gist of it. I feel like it's just one of those things where you can build a little following if you just kind of focus on the integrity of your products, your store, and just being honest about your products. I feel like that's the best way to do it and also just uh, really interacting with the community. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you need anything else or you want to ask me some questions or anything about your little Poshmark store or you just want to know about my little Poshmark store then let me know in the comments or you can always DM me on Instagram something like that it's just at Amy Crouton that's my social media on literally everything so I think it would also be cool if you guys like showed me your store and then I could go through and like critique it but I don't know I don't know if you guys would want that. If you do, let me know and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just rambling now. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye friends.